Hello and welcome back. This is Frederick from Tech Nordics. I'm going to give you a short update related to the RSA 600 series that I just received. So if you go into our homepage.com and go for a comparison of, of spectrum analyzer, you can find all the information you need about the differences. Uh, I think you know, you're familiar in my uh, earlier videos related to the RSA 300 series. There's a B version now, which is different frequency planning inside. So some of the spurs are gone. It's a little bit better dynamic range, you know, in effect of that. We also added two series, an RSA 500 series and a 600 series. And the main difference is that the RSA 500 is also battery operated. It's a little bit uh, different applications. But it can also use for, for uh, online power. Uh, the one I'm using right now, today, I'm going to focus is on this one, the RSA 600, and the top model, which is 7.5 gig. So go into this page, and you can find all of the information you need about the difference and you know how good it is and the GPS. So the biggest difference between the 306 and the 600 is that the 306 is smaller. You know, I found it really nice that the RSA 600 has a two meter uh, USB 3 cable, which is positive. The 600 also have a built in GPS. It has a, a, a noise source output in the back and also it's, you know, has a built in tracking generator. It's an option, but it is there. The other thing I like about it is you can control the attenuator and the uh, uh, preamp yourself. That's no issue. So we can look at how it looks like, you know, I have some pictures that uh, took outside uh, my office today and here are some pictures. You can see that there is the back, the left side, there's the back of the 607. And you can see it's, you know, built-in power supply, you can see the noise source driver. On the right side is a kind of a comparison between these two, the boxes, so it's bigger than 607. But it also goes up to, to a built-in tracking generator and higher end frequency. And then, of course, we can look at how it looks comparison uh, like this. Oh, I can just make it short this. So, you know, there's a circular USB 3.0 connector, which should be waterproofed a little bit, at least for the battery operated one. There's an antenna in for the GPS and you have our RF out. That's the main difference. The other uh, difference I've seen is the maximum power you can apply is much bigger. So let's go back again and have a quick look on, on the interface, how it looks like. So you can see that the interface is a little bit different. Uh, and there are some things you can do here to tweak it. So it's a tweak. Uh, mainly, that, mainly the two things that comes to place is that you can go into the amplitude and you can have a, the internal preamp on off. And you can also set these uh, uh, attenuators in, D, in one dB step. Uh, that's the big thing here. The other thing is that you can go also for the GPS. There's a, a built-in GPS here, but I don't have an antenna, so not a big deal for me. The other thing is the menu one here is you can go for this tracking generator. This will we will add more features. Not, now it's like transmission and gain loss. It's nothing, but it will be distance to fault and all the common measurement standing waves. So, and how it works, you just add here. You go in here, very simple. You press this button over here and you press calibrate and you perform a calibration and here's some step by step how you do it. And you first you calibrate and then you do whatever you want, close. And here's an auto scale. So that that's basically how it works. There's nothing more revolutionary about it. And by the way, do you like my skin? Uh, as you well have known, the top one over here, you can change a lot. You do that by adding and, you know, re removing these dots here. You can uh, audio do, uh, antenna or we can do acquisition. You just remove them here. Uh, but if you try it ever, you can go down here and right click and there's a customized bar here. And you can have a new customized bar called Frederick. And from that one, it will be open over here. So there's the commands. I'm not sure what we should do it. We can go, hmm, I'll just take some file. I add it here. Set up, I add it here. Oh. Set up, 
kind of place it over here setup we can go to user manual maybe and you can do more of these toolbars yourself and if you add so want to add something in the normal toolbar you can do that too I mean if you just go here and go commands let's say you want to have a tile horizontally and you can just put it here and you can do it down here and when you're done here you can move this around you can move this one around and you can put it in the middle so you can have the file here and the setup use the manual I press it I get the user manual it's really convenient and you can move it around you can place it on the side here or you can place it on the bottom here if you like so it's really like you know the shortcuts really how you want to do it and this one you can also just I think you can move the antenna here you can go to I mean, it's really flexible and my skin by the way if you find it there's a button called skins and I press it you can have uh, office 2013 white so you can have this so it's just a GUI thing but it is there if you go down here you right click and you can go customize I can remove my bar if I log I can add an on so go ahead and play and that's all for now uh, hopefully I will come back with a little bit longer video on, on the uh, battery driven one at one point thank you for attending this and I will end this with a really nice picture from my office thank you